Green Heck. Building value in air. Hi, and welcome to a Green Heck fan technical detail. What I'm going to be talking about today is doing fire relay integration with the HVLS fans. This procedure is roughly the same with all models of fans, so I'm going to be using our DS fan for demonstration. The first thing that you're going to want to do is remove and strip our fire relay points. Then you're going to want to verify the relay that's being used. We supply this with every fan. The reason that we supply this is because we've seen some integration issues with third-party provided relays. If you're having issue where the fan is starting up or shutting down inappropriately during a fire alarm, I suggest checking to see if this is the relay that was used, and if not, substituting it. Another easy troubleshooting step would be to reconnect these two wires and if the fan begins to behave normally without the relay in the picture, the relay is the likely culprit. Moving back, we can take our included relay and identify our normally closed and our common. We're going to tie these in There we go. Now we have a normally closed connection, which means that the fan will run until it receives an interrupt signal. Here we have our contacts for our 24 volt and our common. We'd tie these into our existing fire system wires. That would be pr provided by the fire integration team. You could also tie into 110, and you could also operate this on a normally open system. You'll have to get those details again from the fire integration team. If you have any trouble with it, or if you need help troubleshooting a third-party relay, please feel free to reach out to our customer support team. 